As the captains come out on the field, we have number two, Ashton Camp, quarterback for Vance. I'm sorry. That's Julius Chambers. Let's get that name right. Number 56, Jordan Statton, a linebacker. Number four, we have Jordan Thompson, a junior linebacker. And number one, Kevin Concepcion, a junior wideout. On the other side of the field, let's see if we can make out these numbers here. So right offhand, I can see number six, Saban McLaughlin. Number two, Alex Bentley. A lot of media out here today. They heard I was coming, that's why. The greatest is here, Mr. Mustafa himself. So let's go over these teams and what they've accomplished thus far. Let's start off with Hunter Huss. Their current record is three and two and one. They defeated their first game, Hunter Huss, 68 to 13. They lost to Charlotte Catholic their second game, 34 to 19. They defeated South Point, North Carolina, 27 to 7 last week. Players to watch, Alex Bentley, quarterback, senior, number two. Christian Hamilton, wide out, only a junior, numerous offers, wide receiver and plays a little bit on the other side of the ball, a little DB. And at linebackers, they have two nice ones for Hickory Ridge. We have number nine, Jordan Wilkes, and number 10, Kyle Perry. On the Vance side, correction, Julius Chambers side. They are currently 3-0. First game was against Cardinal Gibbons, where they won 35-29. Next game was Highland Springs, 24-13. Highland Springs, Virginia. And Glenn out of the Winston-Salem area, they defeated last week 36. The players to watch are the edge rusher, DN, number 10, James Pierce, who has numerous offers, over 14 FBS offers. Middle linebacker, Jordan Thompson. And number 25, outside linebacker, Jalen Reeder, who comes from over at Mallory Creek. The wideouts. On the offensive side of the ball for Julius Chambers, Kevin Concepcion, wide receiver, Dalen, Dalen Smothers, a.k.a. Hollywood, running back, number three, Ashton Camp, the quarterback, number two. So we're expecting a great game tonight, and let's, let's see what happens. So coming to the field now, your 2021 4AA champions, Julius Chambers, the same Currently ranked the number one team in the state of North Carolina. I want to do this my guy here. Finally, The Rock has come back to Charlotte. What would Kirk do? I think Vance is sporting some of the new uniforms tonight. Chambers is number 20, Brennan Robinson, and number one, Kevin Concepcion. And we're kicking off. Here we go. And it's an onside kick, first play of the game. Van Julius Chambers recovers. Number five, Antonio McGill on the, re on the recover for Julius Chambers. Yes, they did. 
So Julius Chambers starts off on their 45. First and 10. Behind the center for Julius Chambers is number two, Ashton Camp. He comes out with two in the backfield. Bunch formation. So I imagine they're getting ready to run. Sweep off to the left. To their guy. That's a first down for number three, Dalen Smothers, AKA Hollywood. It looks like they come back out in the full backfield. Three in the backfield. Yeah, I think they're definitely going to let him freestyle tonight. That's about a, a nine yard game. So I'm, tell, I'm talking about probably about an eight yard game. So on the first two plays of the game, the Cougars start off with 18 yards in rushing. Hickory Ridge calls a timeout. They want to talk it over. Definitely want to talk it over. Yes, there was. Uh, we have uh, number, seven. number seven is Christian Hamilton. Yeah, he kind of. He said, wait, worry about nobody. Yep. They didn't say Ben specifically. I was like, wow. Thank you, Dr. Walmart. I yeah. said, let a sleeping dog lie. Yeah, he said he's coming. they're coming for everybody. They're coming for everybody. Be careful what you ask for. Outside of Charlotte Catholic, though. They lost that one already. Badly. Yeah. Well, that was 11 on 12. Yeah, it was. They had the fans. Yeah, the fans. Thank you, man. The fans is no joke over at Charlotte Catholic. Up the middle for a Cougar first down. First down for the Cougars by number 25, Jaden Reader. So that was number 25, Jalen Reeder. He comes over from Mallard Creek, where he played last year. Yeah, part of the transfer portal. So it's first and 10 Cougars on the 25. Sweet. Nothing going. Yeah, number four, Jordan Thompson on the on the carry for no gain. So Cougars look like they're the Hickory Ridge looks like they're definitely trying to protect the edge. So we're looking at second and twelve. Quarterback keeper on the play, number one. Uh, that was number two, Ashen Camp, for, for about a two-yard game. We're looking at third and seven, third and eight for the Cougars. Cougars come out in two wide. Drops back, he throws it up. And it's an incomplete. Nice coverage. Camp. 
That looked like coverage by number 20. Trying to make out the numbers over there. Cornerback, that is. Oh, they got these. Those, they got number 33. 33. They got, they got those. Uh, Sapiens Stevens. All right, Cougar fans, let's chill on it. Step down. Looks like the let's Cougars are going for it. So we're looking at fourth and eight for the Cougars, and they're going for it. They come out in four wide. Timeout Cougars. With 8.49 left in the first quarter. Zero to zero. Fourth down. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readiness and sports education.org. come out three wide on the left side numerous weapons quarterback drops back throws it in the flat he stopped yes it was big play by number four Jalen Pipperton, number four. Thank you for one of the. <laughs> Running back up the middle, number four and four, Jalen. Uh, Second and eight, Hickory Ridge. And he's stopped by number four, Jordan Thompson. Out in the flats to number 20, Brennan Robinson. For, for a Hickory Ridge first down. Pass out the flat. Pass out in the flats to number seven, Christian Hamilton. For about a three yard gain. Second and seven. Hickory Ridge. Come on, fans, get behind your defense. It's second down. Incomplete pass on the play. We're looking at third and seven. Hickory Ridge. Six, Saban McLaughlin. Yeah, hit right in the head. Yeah, he did. Hickory Ridge comes out with the punt team. 
punting from their 32. Back to return for the Cougars is number seven, Jer Jeremiah Smith. Nice return by number seven, Jeremiah Smith. Not a lot of coverage on that play for Hickory Ridge. Guys got to get downfield. So the Cougars take over on their, on their 30. Yeah, you got to get, get downfield. First and 10 Cougars on the three. They come out four wide. Up the middle for number three, AKA Hollywood, Dalen Smothers. Dylan, Dylan Smothers. It's Dalen. It's Dalen? Yeah. I yes, you do. Second and three. I just call him Hollywood. And he stopped in the backfield. <laughs> By number 45, Silas Mills. It's, third down for the Cougars. it's about third and four for the Cougars. All right, fans, get down to the Cougars. On the 24. They're in the bend but don't break defense with 6.05 and counting in the first quarter. Cougars come out three wide on the left, one on the right, one in the backfield. Out in the flats, and he's missed. That's received by number 13, Zion Booker. He's another player that came over from Mountain Creek. Yes, it is. It's first and goal, Cougars. On the two yard line. He stopped at the goal line. No penetration on that play. Second and goal, Cougars with 506 and counting. Second down. I hope they stay in that wishbone, bring, bring it back, pop one of memories. Shout out to big coach Stan. We used to run a play called X20, X24 Smash. And it's a fumble oh, 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 on the play. Uh oh, ball is loose. Ball is loose. Hickory Ridge is saying they have it. Hickory Ridge takes over on their one yard line. Fumble on the play. Could be a gift and a curse. Good recovery. Julius Chambers blows the opportunity. Cute quarterback center exchange. All right, so the fans, it's defense time. It's defense time. Defense. Defense. Keep on the ground. Stop. Pick up about three. Gave himself some cushion. Yes, they did. Now, this, this is where you miss uh, Amari Swindler. Like, he, he, he was a force up front. Yes, yeah, so we're looking at about second and six.
for Hickory Ridge. They go back up the middle. They might have been stopped. Is that a safety? Stopped on the one yard line. It's close. That looked like he was clearly in the backfield. Yeah, it looked like a safety from here. Third and one. Hickory Ridge. No, it's third and about 11. Fourth down and ten on the one yard line. So Hickory Ridge will be booting this, giving Vance excellent field uh, position. And Hickory Ridge is definitely going to have to do better on the uh, coverage on this one. On this punt. Definitely going to have to get downfield. So looks like the Cougars will take over on their twenty four. First and ten, Cougars. First and ten, Cougars. All right, Cougars come out on offense. It's third down, fam. Let's go, Cougars. Quick pitch to Concepcion around the edge. Looks like he might have got about seven. about seven yards. So it's second and three, Cougars. Second and three Cougars. Hand off the number three. He slips. Turf monster, man. Turf monster's no joke. But he still pitches the first down. And that's another Cougar. First down. First down Cougars. Second and five for the Cougars. Three wide for the Cougars. Handoff on the edge. And he's up the middle. Touchdown. Cougars. He carried a lot of people in his own. Yes, he did. And the extra point is good. With 
54 seconds left in the quarter. Cougars, seven. Hickory Ridge, zero. Back deep for Charlotte Christian is number seven, Christian Hamilton. All the way. There's a flag on the play. Flag on the play. That definitely gives their number seven four-star wide receiver, Christian Hamilton, uh, more space. And they're kicking it to him. That's number six, Saban McLaughlin. Hickory Ridge comes out on, on their 21. Four wide for Hickory Ridge. That's five wide. They come out in the empty backfield. Yeah, he is. He's stopped by number 56, Jordan State. State. Second and nine. Incomplete pass on the play. Third and nine, Hickory Ridge. Back to pass, he steps in the pocket. Might be able to get a first down on this play, he does. He's still going, he's going, he's going. And he takes it down to the Cougar 25 with no flags. Yes, it was. That was And number two, Alex Bentley, he can take off on you. And they were able to take this one. And he stopped in the backfield. That's the end of the first quarter. And that stop was by number 11, Dante Harbison, another Mallet Creek guy. 
a number, another Creek portal guy. All right, we're going to take a quick, quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readiness and sports education.org. Right down the middle, man. This guy, and he keep going, and he, he oh, what the ball's ball loose, and they hop back on it. That's a touchdown. Short punt, bounds at the 35, fielded at the 40 by quick, quick, out to the corner. He's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him. Cuts back, he's in for a touchdown. Swing pass in the flat. And we're back. Second and nine for Hickory Ridge. It's a complete pass to number seven, Kristen Hamilton. Yes, they do. First and ten, and they're moving. On the 14. To Got to pick that one up. Got to get it a little higher. Incomplete pass on the play. Second and ten. Like he threw a knuckleball in the dirt. Yeah, he did. Hickory Ridge. Second and ten. Hickory Ridge on their fifteen. And he, the first guy misses. And they get it out to their stud wide out. Number seven, Kristen Hamilton. Correction, that was not to number seven. That was to number six, Saban oh, McLaughlin. They just took him out, too. They took him out because he missed that tackle. Good job by the G coordinator. I would have did the same thing. He gets about a two yard gain on that play. That carry was by number 20, Randall Fisher. We got second and goal on the about the four yard line, give or take. RPL, quarterback gets hit hard. Yes, he does. You keep hitting like that, he, he's gonna start running that play, and that ball's gonna come loose. Yep, he's about on the two yard line now, and so it's third and two. Hickory Ridge. They come with a full house backfield. They go power. And they go power. And it's touchdown. Hickory Ridge. We got a ball game. Man, 10-04 remaining here in the second. Hickory Ridge scores. We'll have a tied game, seven to seven. Well, extra point is so on. It's not. It's not a guarantee. Vance is definitely coming in for the block. Correction, Chambers, Cougars. Encroachment 
defense. And it's good. So we have a tie ball game, 7-7, seven to seven, with 10.04 left before half. Nice return by the Cougars up to the 26. Hey, can you show the scoreboard, please? It wasn't up when I looked. That return was by listen, number listen, 20, listen. Brennan I, I, Robinson. You have to ask me this up. If you have the computer in front of you, you should see it up there on the screen. Who has the computer? Who has the computer? Yes, First and 10, Cougars. On their 27. Is this on both screens? The, the screen that shows the game should have the scoreboard up there, not just the preview screen. All right. And he stopped in the backfield. Huh? Thrown out into the flats by right, to number three, Daylin Hollywood uh, Smothers. Because I'm doing a game and I'm on air. Second and ten. Okay. Second and ten, Cougars. No game. No do the bag. Let's go. And it's thrown out to the flats. And he stopped. Oh. By, number By number four, Jalen Pemberton. Stopped on the play. Thrown out in the flats. To number 13, Zion Booker. Third and seven, Cougars. And he takes it out to the flats. And he gets the first down. Number two, Ashen Camp on the keeper on the right side for a Cougar first down. Yeah. 
You got to protect that edge. It's an incomplete pass on the play. He was definitely wide open. He definitely got behind him. Number 17, Sean Walker Jr. on the nine route. Incomplete pass. Second and 10, Cougars. Up the middle. That's up the middle by number four, Jordan Thompson. Third and two Cougars. Cougars up the middle again for Cougar first down, number four, Jordan Thompson. Stop by number 14, Xander Lemos. That's what they're trying to do. Number three, Dalen Smothers on the carry. He's getting about eight, nine yards a clip. Yep, so we're looking at second and three or four for the Cougars. Last Wow, he definitely came in there to break that up. Player down. Player down, number one, Kevin Concepcion on the carry, on the jet sweep. Let's hope he's all right. He's getting up, no problem. He's up, ladies and gentlemen, let's get my hand. He's rough, he's tough, he's a cougar. Probably this little cramp. He got it walked off his own power. That was like a 20-yard game, 20-yard run. He ran 20 yards for one yard. You got it, yeah. So we got you got to get it north and south, not east and west. So we're looking at third and one. Oh, you still didn't get the first? No, he didn't. That's a lot of work. Not to get the first. All right, to the fans, it's second down, third down. Let's get behind our Cougars! Let's go Cougars, let's go! Let's go Cougars, let's go! And he stopped in the backfield. That was some miscommunication. Yeah, it looked like a busted play in the backfield. And Hickory Ridge was able to take advantage of that. It's fourth down. But they were having success just going north and south. Keep it simple. Line up in that wishbone. Go straight down here. Straight down here. It's fourth and six. 
And the Cougars have a lot of confidence in their defense. They're going for it. Timeout. Cougars. Big fourth down for the Cougars. They got three wide on the right, one on the left. One in the backfield. He drops back. Little pressure. He comes up. He throws it deep. And it's a flag on the play. Along with the reception. Like this, he caught that ball. We're gonna have first and goal. Cougar first down to reception to number three, Dalen Hollywood Smothers. They get the ball on their one yard line, I heard he has two own, yard line. He has his own sandwich in Charlotte. Is that oh. true? Haven't heard that one yet. The it, Hollywood. It might be true. And the Cougars pound it in for a first down. Touch back. Complete pass. 
He had a lot of open field on that one. Could have still been running. Second and 10, Hickory Ridge. Big shout out to the Julius Savage Chili. Cougar Chili is down here rocking. And that stop was by number nine, Makai Bigelow. Looking deep. Looking deep to their guy. Number, that was to number seven, uh, Christopher Hamilton. He was definitely wide open. Nice boot. See what type bounce we get on that one. And it's a flag on the play. Look like we might be in the in the area of personal foul. Yeah, you definitely have to uh, multitask when you're wearing so many hats. I'm going to have to retire from doing games eventually, man. I'm just going to be up in the executive suite. I'm only going to come out for state championships. That's what I'm going to do. Sounds like a plan. They're going to play out there. Oh, so He had all time in the world. Yeah, he did. 4-4 remaining here in the quarter. Before halftime, rather. Four four. 14 7. Four four. Four four. Four four. Four four. Four four. Four It's a flag on the play in the area of holding. So I think this one is coming back. Oh, look, play number two. With 3.54 left in the half, before half. They tack on the penalty, so we got 
Second and a, and a mile for the Cougars. Got three wide. Slide on the play. That was in the area of targeting. It seemed like it was kind of late. I'm looking for the ref with the, uh, there the ref with the white hat. Dead ball, personal foul. That will be a first down. Yeah, I don't think there was a lot of contact on that last play when he slid. I think that was the that was the call. You know, I, I don't I don't like quarterbacks a lot because it's like you give up on the play. And it, it, it's high school; these kids miss tackles. You better make a move and be in the end zone. Don't give up on the play. Don't slide. Thrown out into the flats. That goes out to number 13, Zion Booker, junior wide out. It moves it to the 31 with 317 left. Before the half. Smothers up the middle. For about a uh, three or four yard gain. With about second and four Cougars. He bounces it out. First and goal. First and goal, Cougar. First and goal, folks. Touchdown, Cougars. That can be a game changer. All points matter. Yes, they do. There's a lot of schools playing here in Charlotte. Now, I, I love, I love the engineers crowd. I love the student section. You got, you got the alumni out here. And you got the press box guy who's singing, who has a terrible voice, but he's, he's blowing his lungs out. But I love the energy, though, man. <laughs> I bet he sounds great in the shower, though. <laughs> I wouldn't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs>
Hickory Ridge comes out, throws out in the flats. Pass complete. For a first down, they're moving with 207 left before half. Big hole up the middle, and he's out. That was a keeper to big number 30, Aaron Carey. Haven't seen him all night. He's a load. And it's the big guy out in the flat. Big number 30 carry on the uh, on the reception. So we're looking at second and about three for Hickory Ridge, and they're moving. Little anxious. Can't make those against a team like the Cougars. So we're looking at second and about eight. And he stopped. And he's stopped by number five, Antonio McGill. Third and eight, Hickory Ridge. Timeout. With 103 left before half. Cougars 20, Hickory Ridge 7. Out in the flat. Yes, he is. And that's big number 30, uh, Aaron Carey, that we haven't seen him uh, before, uh, none in the first half. Yes, he can. Oh. No flag on the play. Yep. See, that's why I tell you, stay on your feet. You could have made him miss and scored a touchdown. <laughs> I think they were looking for the same call that the Cougars got early. Hey, Yes, he do. To big number 30. I would call this timeout. 
31 seconds remaining. Big, big man up the middle, uh, number Aaron Carey. He is the guy that has brought them down this far. He's been responsible for two first downs on this uh, series. And they're on the one-yard line, thanks to him. Well, I, I, think, I think I know where, where it's going. I think I know where that ball's going. I'm going with the guy who got me down here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. With 21 seconds left before half. Cougars 20, Hickory Ridge 7. Oh, oh, what? Sideline warning. Sideline warning. So there'll be no, no yardage on that. The next one will result in 15 yards. I think Coach is giving him a piece of his mind about, about not, getting, uh, not getting a personal foul. Yeah, I'm going up the middle to big number 30, Aaron Curry, if that's me. We got a flag on the play. Wait, 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 wait a second. There's a flag on the play. Hold the press. Let's see, let's see. Looks like that might have been on the Cougars. It's waved off. It's touchdown. That was a big drive. Yeah, it was. 14 seconds remaining. And Hickory Ridge will get the ball to start the third quarter. Game. Yeah, we do. Ten seconds to go to halftime. And we're back with 14, 14 seconds left on the clock. We got a return. He's got some real estate. Flag on the play. Looks like that. Like we got a personal foul back on the Cougars.
Holden Chambers. Offset. And that's the half. That's the end of the half. That's the beginning of the half. Yeah, we do. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. The time, Carson. Ball court. Passed on over to Capstra. Capstra will dive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000-point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send the shot and deflect it. They score! Two now. We're at the 230 marker left in the game. Immaculate go quickly, but it has just costed them a good play there to stay on the West Orange side. Diving in quickly is Capstraw, and she herself is leading West Orange to a comeback. Five. Near. Short shot on goal and post. Free kick with West Orange. She sends it to us in that. Oh, but we don't score the game, we just call and record it. As the pitch from Bove with nobody on base swung on and missed, struck him out. Lacey now trying to get on the offensive side of things, can he? Ooh, and he's able to work himself into a pin position. Penny on the pin. He's got all five. That point's easily secured. And he pins him. So the first row suit with the pinfall victory. West Orange with a 5 nothing win over North Central. I'm here with West Orange head coach Doug Nevins. All right, West Orange with a 6-1 win over Columbia. I'm here with three stars of the game. Emma Mitchell, Kaya Schultz, Gianna Festino. So I'm Ryan Lowey from D1 Media Pro, and I'm joined with senior Kaya Schultz and junior Kylie Capstraw. Here with West Orange girls varsity coach Sean DeVore. Screen pass out in the flat, caught, and it's a touchdown for St. Peter's. Pitch. O'Donnell swinging away, puts it over the shortstop's head. That's a base hit. It'll score one. Faraz on his way home. Throw in is not in time. Going quickly, Bullock takes the snap, throws to the far side. Wide open, touchdown. Called strike three looking. Mulcahy he strikes out the side. He's perfect through two. Now up ahead for the Marauders. Here comes Bigwitz. They score! Michael right Bankovitz for St. Peter's Park. Bounced on the ground to short. Faraz Fields flip to O'Donnell one. Throw on to first. In time for a double play. Just we'll look back out there for the Marauders. He takes the snap. Looking over the middle. Has a man. And he scores. We open it. 35. Once again, hit in the air to deep center field. Sick of moving on the back at the wall. It's gone. LS Reed with a two run blast. And the Marauders have a six nothing lead. St. Peter's Prep has the best coverage for its student athletes. Why don't you? 
percent. That ball is completed. She is gone. She's at the 30, the 30, the 20. She will not be caught. That is a touchdown on play one. And here we go again. Touchdown number eight, Wadia Finley. Here's Shabazz, pulls up for three. Three is good. He fell, Kareem fell. Give it to him, touchdown. Boom. And that is a touchdown. Touchdown. And I say, hold on, touchdown. Go back, in the pistol, takes a snap, probably snap, rolls right, looks right, throws over the middle, and caught! Joe raped over him was the number one, Deshaun Lawton. But number Shabazz has the best coverage for its student athletes. Why doesn't your school join the D1 Media Pro team, New Jersey's number one live streaming service? One of New Jersey's premier high school basketball teams gets their coverage from D1 Media Pro, and it goes like this. Finds Floyd to tie things up. Tie game! 62 apiece, 90 seconds. Floyd attacking and throws it down! Corey Floyd! A missed opportunity down low, behind the back to Plano and Long! with Floyd to lob it up on a slam! It's too low for Dunn. Wilcher to Floyd. Brings it in and one on the lob. He thought about the three drives. Base lock. Oh, what a start for Corey Floyd! Here with Corey Floyd after a tough... Wilcher, three. Got it! Simeon Wilcher is fired up! And Simeon Wilcher all alone with the flush. Out of here with Simeon Wilcher. Pass taken away by Marshall. And he'll throw it down. He tosses it ahead to Valencia. Serene driving and throws it down. He kicks it around and a turnover. Corey Floyd has it. Step through, lay it through the basket. You're out of here with Roselle Catholic head coach Dave Boff. Dave, you're coming up. Now. It's your time to join. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readiness and sports education dot org. We saw him last year with the bees. This is after he Clifford Moore with the slam after the rebound. Clifford Moore with the block. That's it. Up with the basket. No foul called. Going the other way. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Woo! Number 11. Is it done? Sticking the tongue. Playing in the same court together at any point. Really awesome moment for the two of them. CJ going up. For the dunk. 14-5, Coach Eric Elliott. He was a backcourt except for the one guy that mattered. Oh! Freshman City in Wiltshire. Welcome to the Lions' Den. We use that new coin term again, Matt. We just saw the cliff effect twice. Woo! On the defensive side. So good. Brian Bernard 
and Cliff. Woo! Another slam dunk. Gets the steal. Gives up to Niley. Sports Center, you better be watching. We're all going to get an open shot like that. It's always a. Woo! The Audi U! CJ Wilcher to beat. Game so far today. Cliff O'Mori! The highlight reel dunk. Up to Niles Lane. Oh my god! 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 Oh the god! Oh my 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 that is the game, folks. We'll be back with Coach Bath and with Miles Lane as Matt. All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Right up the middle, barreling towards the goal line. Baldwin is in for a Vance touchdown. Right down the middle, man. This guy... And he keep going, and he, he's... Oh, what? Oh, the ball's ball loose. Out. And they hop back on and it, and that's a touchdown. Short punt, bounces at the 35. Fielded at the 40 by... Quick, quick. Out to the corner. He's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him. Cuts back. He's in for a touchdown. Swing pass in the flat. Touchdown. Third down and 17, a handoff. Getting to the outside. There's a hole. There's a first down. And all the way to the races is Elijah McWilliams to the house for a touchdown and for an I Mick for a division championship. Mm -hmm.
Horton dribbles into the front court to Khalil Whitney. Go into the basket and the jam. with them because they are getting resources from the city. They are getting resources and they are arguing with us about the timeliness of those resources. Attacking and throws it down! Touchdown for St. Peter's! I'm here with Darren Lewis I'm with Simeon Wilcher. Here with Presses Achua. It's about doing overtime. Do you want your school to be covered by the number one live stream service in the state of New Jersey? So the entire country can see moments like this. We play once again. Free kick coming for the Mountaineers. Short shot on goal. And post it in. West Orange. Let's go. And they win. They take down the number two ranked. See and hold Bullock takes the snap. He's going to take it himself. Barreling towards the goal line. And he's in. Carroll's Bullock from three yards out. And the or be a witness to championships like these. Montclair, our state sectional champions. They defeat Livingston 4-1. And the Mounties sweep the boys and girls brackets in back-to-back -back wins over the Lancers. 3-2, there goes the runners. Swing on and miss. Strike three. That does it. The Cranford Cougars are the last dance World Series champions. Or have exclusive interviews with players and coaches. Bruin and Silver Star pitcher T. Mulcahy. I'm here with Cranford star Ryan Jaros. We're with the Bergen Crusaders star of the game, Luis De La Cruz. Here with West Orange head coach Doug Nevins. And All right, now here with star goalkeeper Nikolai Matthews of this West Orange Mountaineer team, Nikolai. We're with Claire Manning after Montclair picks up a 4-1 win over Livingston. I'm here with Molly Brumbach, the goalkeeper. Molly, what's, what was today like? Here with West Orange girls varsity coach Sean DeVore. Then join the D1 Media Pro Team, New Jersey's number one live streaming service. When one of the top public high school athletic programs in the state of New Jersey uses the number one live stream in the nation. Flip to Carson. He went the... 90 yards on the kickoff return. He's trying to finish it off with a touchdown, and he does. Time first. Ball court passed on over to Capstra. Capstra will dive in past two players, and she's able to lay it up and score. That is the 1,000 point club type of play right there. You can't ask for better than that one. Pass the Kirk cross. Stick down by Murphy. Send the shot and deflect it. They score. And we're yeah, I can't get ready to start the third quarter. Yes, we are. All right, so tell me what you think of this first half, man. It's been a, a very competitive game. Um, Hickory Ridge has been able to take advantage of some breaks that they made, uh, and they're keeping themselves in the game. Um, they're also re receiving after the half, so they give an opportunity to go down and score. So this this looks like a very tight game as of now. Oh. <laughs> I think it's definitely going to come down to whoever makes the uh, least mistakes. I can't eat those. All right, fans, the second half is about to begin. And we're back. Back deep. 
for Hickory Ridge. Number seven, Kristen Hamilton. Kicking off for the Cougars. Number 47, Melvin Bernitez. And here we are. It's kicked off. And it's returnable. Oh, turf monster. Yes, it did. Turf monster on the play. Brings it out to the 20. You don't have it on your roster, but 56 is Jackson Bass. We got it. First and 10 Cougars on the 20. They jump. First and 10 Hickory Ridge. Offsides Cougars. Five yard penalty. So we're looking at second and five on the 25. It's the first down. And that was a big boy collision. It was just a little force meeting, an immovable object. Yes, sir. Number four, Jordan Thompson, goes up against big number 30, Aaron Carey. First and 10. Out to the flats. He stopped. Stop. I remember six. And he's stopped by number five, Antonio McGill. So we're looking at about second and 12 for Hickory Ridge. And the QB takes off. Number two, Alex Bentley. Early. He gets about seven yards on that play. So we're looking about third and five, third and six for Hickory Ridge. And they got him to jump. Offsides Cougars. So we're looking at about third and one for the Cougars for Hickory Ridge. Uh, it's about a one yard. To their big guy, number 30. Aaron Carey for Hickory Ridge first down. Yeah, he is. I'm just thinking, I ain't got to feed him. <laughs> first and 10, Hickory Ridge on the 45. And he stopped in the backfield. By number nine. Bigelow. Makai Bigelow on the stop. Second and 15, Hickory Ridge. And it's picked off. 
by number 21, Trey Overton. Yeah, they are. And they take over on their on their 45. A lot of energy in the building right now. Now 22 remaining here in the quarter. First and 10, Julius Chambers. Pass out the flat. And he big stopped. Hit. Big hit. Yes, indeed. Big hit by number four, Jalen Pemberton. Stopped in the backfield. That's, that's going to that's make the highlight tape. Yeah. That, that was the quarterback's fault. You got you to gotta, yeah, you you gotta look more. You can't lead your, uh, your guy out there like that. That, is man up for that could have been a game-ending hit. Big hit though. Second and 15, Cougars. Good job of the receiver holding on to the ball. They had 11 hats on the ball. That yeah, they time. did. Looks like Hickory Ridge makes some adjustments over the half. Coach said, I want 11 men running to the ball. Come on, two and three, and let's go. Go. Big third down. Yeah, it is. Timeout. Timeout, Hickory Ridge. Timeout. Looks like they, had, they might have had too many men on the field. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Right up the middle, barreling towards the goal line. Baldwin is in for a Vance touchdown. Right down the middle, man. This guy, and he keep going, and he's. he's oh, what the ball's ball loose? Out, and they hop back on it. That's a touchdown. Short punt, bounces at the 35, fielded at the 40 by quick, quick. Out to the corner. He's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him. Cuts back. He's in for a touchdown. Swing pass in the flat. Cougars come out in a Can't connect. Flag in the area of holding. So I'm thinking Hickory Ridge is going to decline this. Holding Cougars. So we're looking at fourth and 12 for the Cougars. Back on their 43. I believe this is the first time that uh, the Cougars are punting tonight. And this might be the closest game they've been in all season. High snap. It's almost blocked. It takes a bull's roll. Yes, it does. Ball is good. 738 remaining. And Hickory Ridge takes over on their 25. Who will take over on this back? Let's go, Cougars!
and he takes off again. I think they're going to have to put a spy on that guy. This quarterback is definitely a problem. We're looking at, we're looking at second and three for the Bulls. I don't know if he has any offensive interest, but I'll definitely be taking a look at this kid. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Let's go, defense. Let's go. Let's go, defense. And big number 30, the stop in the backfield. Big number, uh, Aaron Carey. That's their big James Pierce on that Third, third and one. And they go back up the middle. And carry, and it's a fumble on the play. The Cougars recover on the fumble. They yeah, went to the well one too many times. They dropped the bucket of water. Shout out to his family down there. Directing the PA announcer. Cougars come back out on the field. They line up in the wishbone. Quarterback under center. They go power. Off tackle. He's still on his feet. Out of bounds. Cool. 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 And that's the number four, Jordan Thompson. He also plays linebacker for the Cougars. But that's when they had success in that, in that, in that, in that, in that wishbone offense, man. You got to just line up and run it down their throat. Run it down their throat. Nothing Start cute. Their will. Don't get fancy. Don't be cute, as I like to say. Too many quarters try to be cute. They're, look, this is Smash Mouth football. This Here we go. Power football, wishbone formation. Shout out to Barry Switzer. And that's off to number four once again, Jordan Thompson. He's getting, they're going four yards in a cloud of dust. But there's no dust out here. It's, it's beautiful, manicured grass. Second and four. Oh, it's Cougars. Turf. It's turf, eh? No, it's Come not on, turf. Fans, get on your feet. The Cougars are driving again. Be beautiful field, nonetheless. Until it rains. I think they fixed the drains out here. Oh, they fixed the drains. Shout out to CMS school system. They go toss left. Oh, and he stopped. Couldn't get the edge on that play. Number one on the field. Four. Four. Number four. Four. And they're stopped by big number nine, Cal Perry, linebacker. He's a junior. Third and four, Cougars. They come back out in power. And he banks it out. He's still in the Hard. No Hollywood, no problem. And that's number 20, Brennan Robinson. For a Cougar first down. He was able to bank that one out on the on the edge. Let's go offense. Let's go. Kevin Conception went out earlier. We haven't seen him back. So we, we hope and pray that he's okay. So we're looking at second and goal for the Cougars. Let's go, Let's go. 
Lester Office, let's go. Lester Office, let's go. He stopped shy. Robinson on the field. That was out to number 20, Brennan Robinson. Third and goal. And they keep it on the ground. Stop short. Fourth down coming up. So it looks like Travis is out there, two big studs. No Hollywood, no conception. So the younger guys got to step up to the plate. Yes, indeed. So we're looking at fourth down. It's big. It's big time football right now. They stay in the wishbone. They go quarterback deeper. And he pushes it in. Number two, Ashton Kemp on the TV. This is what I'm talking about. They, they believe in the kiss theory. They have short yardage. They got under center. And they're quarterback sneak. My favorite play in the whole wide world. Straight downhill. Straight downhill. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss theory. That's what my coach taught us. He said, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, you can't call kids stupid anymore. But when I'm playing, you can, you can call kids stupid. You can smack them around. You can yell at them. You can't do that stuff anymore. You get arrested. Or the parents will come after you. That's it. And the extra point is good. 27-14. Cougars with 312 left in the third quarter. We right back for the kickoff. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readiness and sports education.org. Rise program, readiness and sports education. We, 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 we're heavy here in the Charlotte area, so get your students involved. You see what I'm doing. You see we're the number one live stream in the country. We have games right now in Florida. No, not in Florida. We're in New Jersey. We had games in Delaware last night. Of course, here in North Carolina and Pennsylvania. Got a head full of steam. He's on his feet. Hit hard. And drop. Yeah, he is. And that return was by number seven, Christian Hamilton. Got a little update. Last time I checked, Olympic was all over East Mac, 35-7. So shout out to Olympic High School. Mr. Gooden and the staff over there, Yasmin Capers. They're, they're, they've been doing manual production for two seasons now. Contact Chris Berry to get your school involved. Injury on the play. Might be cramps. Yeah, that's, that's a big epidemic here in Charlotte, cramping. So we're going to take a pause for the cause. We'll be right back. We'll watch the D1 media club. They don't want that guy to have cramps. 
All right, this is Adam. Take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from. Flag on the play. So we're looking at first and about 15 for first and 20. Bulls were able to recover on that play. Yeah, that, that could have uh, could have been a nail in the coffin. But they gotta go check. They, they gotta go to Doctor Monday. They, they, they had that, that, new, that new epidemic called papillitis. Yes, sir. And there's no vaccine for it. Quarterback steps up. He's gonna take off. Gets out of bounds. Like yeah, he does. Five. For a first down. He's been single-handedly keeping people in this game. I know. It looks like the, the, the receivers are running the nine routes and running everybody off, and then he's taking off on them. Backfield steps up in the pocket, he's gonna take off again. Uh, Second and five. He's, and a, he, he, he's a lesser slide. Uh, Second and six for the Bulls. Pass. Oh. Pass complete. For Hickory Ridge, first down. They keep it on the ground. Oh, late whistle. Very late whistle. That run was to number 20, Randall Fisher. Oh, they, 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 got, they got that disease. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have replay in uh, high school. Oh, thank God they don't. Official timeout on the play. We have an injured player. We had replay in New Jersey one time. One game I did, close to four hours. So we, I am not a fan of replay in high school. It's not a timeout. It's just an injury. He's up on his feet. He's up. He's up. He's the cougar. So we gotta get back on the ball. Referee sixteen. One twenty and running. Second and six for the Bulls. No snap. Has all day. Looks downfield. And it's a complete pass to number three, Spencer Higdon. Another one. He gets up a little gippy. Another cramp on the play for the Cougars. First and ten. Hickory Ridge, and they're driving. We got every time out. They're cracking on this. Let's send out the pickle juice. That's the pickle juice?
back, we're back, we're back. And we're back, first and 10 for Hickory Ridge. They're moving on to 35. Cal 13, Last oh. This quarterback is like Houdini. Nice open field tackle by the Cougars for another Hickory Ridge first down, and they're moving. Stop by number nine Bigelow on the play. Second and eight. Hickory Ridge. Screen on the play to number to number three, Spencer Higdon for Hickory Ridge. First down. part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being a part of the RISE program powered by Ortho Carolina. It will give you a head start on an exciting career. The RISE program exposes students to industry professionals and gives them real-world experience by creating content and marketing the teams at their own high school. To find out how you can be a part of RISE, email us at contact at readinessandsportseducation.org. Number 20, Randall Fisher. Second and 10, Cougars. They got to keep some eyes on that guy. I got a new name. His name is Bentley GT. Alex Bentley GT. Touchdown, Alex Bentley. And we have a ball game. Eleven twenty-three remaining. A lot of football left to be played. Yes, it is. Yeah, we do. Yeah, 
So big drive coming up for Chambers. This is where coaches earn their money. Fourth quarter. And the Cougars return out to their 30. They take over on the 30. The cramp monster has visited the field again. And it's the first down. Smothers is back in the game, first and 10. Dalen Smothers on the Cougar first down. And, but, and number two, Ashton Camp is stopped in the backfield or he gets back to the line of scrimmage. It's second and ten. And Kevin Concepcion is back in the game. Short of, the, short of the first down for about a nine-yard gain. We're looking at third and about one or two for the Cougars. And he stopped in the backfield. Fourth down. Hickory Ridge defense steps up. Yes, indeed. Fourth and one. Fourth down. So, Coach, do, do you punt or do you go for it? Well, looking at the history of the Cougars thus far, I think they're going for it. I know they're going for it. And 63, Cade Goldman. Fourth and one. For the Cougars. Oh, here we go. Wishbone formation. They go power. And he stopped in the backfield. We got to turn him on down. Yes, we do. Yes, they are. 
with number 43, Ethan Young, and numerous other Bulls on the stop. Turnover downs. So Julius Chambers facing adversity for the first time in his career. Yes, they are. With 8.57 left in the game. This is exciting. Get us some popcorn. We should have brought the popcorn machine. It's, 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 it's at conception. But if I'm Cougars, if I'm the Cougars, I got to watch, I got to watch Alex Bentley G. Yes, you do. He has to be well over 100 yards today. But he's been a killer. Pass out the flat. Out in the flats. To number 20, Randall Fisher for about a five yard gain for the Bulls. Second and 10. Got him to jump. So we're looking at a first down and moving for Hickory Ridge. They're moving the chains with a little help from the Cougars. And you said it's going to come, come down to who makes the least amount of mistakes. They get ready to get those five yards back. Looks like movement on the Hickory Ridge O line. The Lord give it, the Lord take it. So we're looking at first and 15. Yeah, you got to keep an eye on Bentley. He will take off any moment. There's the suit. He's the ball out. Has a bad egg complete. Second and 15. Shoes go up in the air. That wasn't a flag. Oh, now, now the flag goes. Excuse me. Flag on the play. Let's find the white hat. Play game. I'm thinking one of the Vance Cougars must have, uh, the Cougars must have threw that shoe up in the air. So that's the delay of the game. So Cougar's not doing himself any favors right now. And that's going to give Hickory Ridge the first down. You step up. Big hit on the play. No flags on the play. I'm surprised because you can't be too aggressive in football anymore. No, you can't. You try to hit somebody too hard, it's going to be a flag. Right, right. So good hit, but not too hard, not to draw the flag. Because this is about the kind of general football. You got, you got to try to make football safe. It was 7 14 left in the game. Second and 10. 
screen is not official. Slip screen. You still need to be close to a first down. And that play is working all night long for the Bulls. If they broke, don't fix it. And I'm loving the uh, OC for the for the Bulls right now. He's definitely dialing it up. Time out, Bulls. And what a game with 6.28 left. All right, this is Adam, take two. Mark? I guess. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> The best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Are you interested in pursuing a career in sports marketing or creating impactful sports content? You can get experience in high school by being... comes out in the eye formation in the pistol. Hot snap. Looks like he got the first down. Or and they're moving. This is a good time for them to uh Put big number 30, Aaron. Aaron Carey, who they had success with. And he takes off. He gets out of bounds. Wise. 6.01 remaining. Alex Bentley, he, he's been playing game for Higgity Ridge. Yes, he has. Second and about five for the Bulls. Timeout, Cougars. Timeout, Cougars. Right up the middle, barreling towards the goal line. Baldwin is in for a Vance touchdown. Right down the middle, man. This guy, and he keep going, and he, he oh, what the ball loose, and they hop back on it. That's a touchdown. Short punt, bounces at the 35, fielded at the 40 by Quick, Quick, out to the corner. He's got blockers and a lot of green grass in front of him. Cuts back, he's in for a touchdown. Swing pass in the flat. Touchdown. Third down and 17, a handoff, getting to the outside, there's a hole, there's a first down, and all the way to the win. What a game tonight. This is why, this is why I make this trip to Charlotte every week, for this right here. This is way, wide open, touchdown. Touchdown, Hickory Ridge, and we got a ball game. Yes, sir. Upset alert on their bomb. We got a lot of football left.
this is huge. So correct me if I'm wrong. Julius Chavis has not trailed all season. I don't believe they have. Well, this is the closest, but it, 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 this is the closest they've been. Tied 27 all, five feet of the man in here in the fourth quarter. You can't ask for a better football game. You know? And it's a good boot. We will have a return. Oh, he lets him No return. I was looking for some excitement. Oh, my God. Oh, my It'll be first and 10 for Chambers on their own 20 yard line. They're going to their guy. Smothers. With a Chambers first down. He throws out into the flats. Out of bounds. And we're looking at second down for the Cougars. Second and about eight. Make some noise. It's our house. Let's make some noise. And it's third down. Looking about about third and third and four, third and five. Third down. Big play. We're definitely in four down territory. Under four minutes to play here. They keep on the ground. Looks like they're going to give him the first down. This spot. Move the, stick. move the sticks on the play.
First down, Cougars. They're on the 45. Got to stay in front on that block. Wave it off. That would have been a huge call in the Bulls direction. We're looking at second and five for the Cougars. And they're moving on the 50. And what a hit. Woo-wee. That was smoking. Big number nine. Jordan Wilkes on the hit. Get that man an offer off of that hit. Third and one, Cougars. He was definitely playing to be hit like that any day. He banks it out. It might have been a hold on the call. No hold. No flag. Yet. No flag. First and ten, 235 and running. They're keeping it on the ground. With two minutes left in the game, 27-27. Yes, they do. Throws it out to the flats. Off the big number four. Jordan Thompson for a Cougar first down. to hit below.
Holding on the play. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Be smart. Be smart. Don't watch it to the 15 yards. Looks like we got a holding. Let's see what this penalty is. We could have a face mask. Right, we don't know what it is yet. We can't guess. We can't assume. Face, face mask. mask. Yep. Hey, that's what it usually happens. I didn't see that one. And we got an injury. So we they crap it up out here. 46 seconds remaining here in regulation. The clock in your screen is, is not official, but I try to keep it because it's a close game. Off, like 27 off, 46 seconds remaining. Time out. Cougars. Time out. Cougars. No, you don't. Two seconds left in the game. Yeah, what a game, what a game. Cougars ball on the six-yard line. Looks like they're trying to spread it out. Yeah, with the 
They got to get the clock right. The clock was the clock was at 27 seconds. So I'm thinking they're probably about at 17 seconds left. this year. After last week, man, I, ne I needed this. Oh. So we get to make sure they fill this kick off. They kick it on the ground. It's going to be a touchback. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Shout out to their coach and staff and their athletic director, Mr. Bachelor. Shout out to Alex Bentley, man. He, he's a problem. We don't want to see him in the playoffs. Hook and lateral. Balls on the ground. And that's the game. We got a final. 
And that's the ball game. That's big, Mr. Pierce. The man child. That's it. I'm going. We enjoyed this game. What a oh, man, this is well worth the trip. One of the best ones this year. We'll be back next week. We'll be back at American Legion Stadium. We got Charlotte Cavalry taking on. Providence. But for Quentin Brown, I'm Mustafa Hill. We're going to sign off. Thank you all for watching. See you next week, fellas. Absolutely.